let's see if we can graph this absolute value function. Uh, if you remember in a previous video, we actually studied two different ways to graph absolute value functions. So in this video, in this example, we're going to use the first method we learned, and in the next video, we'll try one with the other method that we learned. All right, so the first thing we're going to do using this method, if you remember, is we're going to try to find the x-coordinate of the vertex of this guy, and then we'll make a little mini x-y table around the vertex. So the way you find the x-coordinate of the vertex is you take what's inside the absolute value and you set it equal to zero. So we'll take x plus two, set it equal to zero, solve for x. So this is pretty quick, x is negative two. So what that means is that the vertex happens somewhere where x is negative two. Now I don't really know if it looks like this or if it looks like this or if it's upside down. Now I don't really know those details yet, but that's what the table is for. So now that I have this, um, the next thing I'm going to do is make up an, uh, an XY table. So let me do that real quick. All right, so we'll pick some X values and then we'll find the Y values that go with those X values. And the middle of our table should be negative two. And then we'll pick a few X values before negative two and a few values after negative two. So maybe negative three and negative four and negative one and zero after negative two. And the idea is this, the idea is if you can figure out what's going on around the vertex, you'll get a pretty good idea of what the graph of the function looks like. So I'm gonna go through this kind of quickly just to save some time. So if you plug in negative four, I think you get three. If you plug in negative three, I think you get four. If you plug in negative two, you get five. Negative one gives you four and zero gives you three. So I went through that very quickly. You should probably take your time on that and check my algebra and all those good things, but just to save some time, hopefully that, that'll speed things up a little bit. All right, so all of these are x, y ordered pairs that are on the graph of my absolute value function. So all I have to do now is simply plot them all. So let me go to negative four comma one, two, three and then negative three comma four, it's right here, and then negative two comma five, which is right here, and then negative one comma four, and then zero comma three. Okay, and you see, we, we can start to see what the absolute value graph is gonna look like, and sure enough, the vertex is in fact at negative two, so everything's looking pretty good. So for a final answer, all I would do is connect all these dots and draw my, my normal V-shaped graph. And that yellow graph right there is the graph of this absolute value function.